Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn to read and write Hindi. We are also here because we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both at the same time. Today is our lesson number, day number 17. Day number 17, and today we are about to start a new matra, the fifth matra. On the first four days, day number one through four, we did Aki Matra. The following four days, day number five, six, seven, and eight, we did Iki Matra. After that, on day number nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, we did Oki Matra. And we just finished yesterday the Uki Matra on day number 13, 14, 15, and 16. And today, as I said, we're going to start the fifth matra, the Eki Matra, which will also go in four parts, day number 17, 18, 19, and 20. And today is part one of four. Let's begin, shall we? Eki Matra, Choti Eki Matra, and Badi Eki Matra. As always, when we did the Eki Matra, there was a short E sound, a long E sound. As we did the Oki Matra, we had a short O, long O. When we did Uki Matra, we had the same thing, uh, short U sound, a long U sound. Same exact concept applies with Eki Matra. There's a short one and a long one. Badi, Badi Eki Matra, and Choti Eki Matra. Let's look at Choti Eki Matra first. Choti Eki Matra takes Badi ye. I'm talking about Urdu right now. So, for example, if you have a letter B, now don't get confused. Right now, the name of the letter itself is B. The name of the letter itself is B. Let's call it B, just to keep it simple. If you want to convert B into a sound of B, you take a letter, Urdu letter, called Badi ye. Badi ye. It looks like this. And you combine it with it. And when they combine, when they combine, it looks like this. Here's your, here's your bay, and here's your bari a. That becomes bay. And that in Hindi, you take your bur, and you put a mark like this. Now don't get confused. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put something next to each other. So one more time, this is your bur, and that makes the bay. That's the bay. Bur and bari a, bay. Don't get confused with that one, with this one here when we learn Oki Matra, this was Be, and it has an additional stick to it, like that. That additional stick, that additional stick is what is missing here, and that makes it a, that made it a Bo, ba, Be and a Wow. Don't get confused. Similarly, when we talk about Badi Eki Matra, Badi Eki Matra, Let's continue with the con concept of bow. Let me let me switch to black marker here again. So continue with this thing. So here is our bow, and you want to convert that into a bow, the long bow, long O sound. You put two of them, and in Urdu you take your be and you combine with wow, and you put a zabar on it. And that makes it bow. But again. The difference, with, what I'm trying to make you understand, is the difference between the Badi Oki Matra and the Badi Eki Matra is that the Badi, Badi Oki Matra takes this line. Badi Eki Matra does not. Badi Eki Matra would look simply like this. There's your verb, and you just put two of them, and that's it. And that becomes a Be and a Badi Ye. And just like before, it, this guy took a Zabar. Zabar is what made the second one. The Zabar is what called for a second one here. You put a zabar on it, and that's what's called the second one, and that's what makes it a badi eki matra. So badi eki matra takes a badi ye, just like before, it takes a badi ye, just like before, in a choti eki matra. But in, in addition to that, in addition to that, it takes a symbol called zabar, which goes on the top of the letter. Not the top of the ye, on the, of the letter, be. It converts bo into a be. Let's, let's look at a couple more. Let's, let's, let's look at a couple more letters. If you want to convert pay into a pay. Let's remove this thing so we have room. The so same thing. If you want to convert your pay, now when I say pay, understand that right now I'm referring to the letter and the name of the letter itself is pay. I'm going to call it per. If you want to convert your per into a pay, you take your per and you put a body here. And when they combine, it looks like this. There's your per and then a body here. And that becomes, you take your per and you put only one. One more time, it's missing this additional thing, That's what, that, will, that would have made it po. 
We don't want to pull, we want to pay. Similarly, if you have a te, if you have a te, if you have a te, and you want to convert that into te, you combine it with a barie, and it looks like this. Te, and then one line there. If you have a the you convert one, want to convert that into a de, so you take your dal, the letter itself is called dal. You take your letter dal and put a bari here, and except in this case, dal, dal does not join anything that comes to the left of it. So it's just going to sit next to each other. It just, they're going to just, just sit next to each other. And that becomes de. There is your de, and you put one more. For the bari here, bari here ki matra is the exact same concept, except Instead of one of these, instead of one of these, we're going to have two of those. And instead of just a letter, it's going to have a letter and a zubber. For example, to convert pa, pa into a pe, you combine it with a bariye, but you also put a zubber on top of the pe. And now it looks like this. Pa, bariye, and a zubber on it. And that will make it a pe. Two of them. Similarly, te would simply be te, bariye, put a zubber on it, and that makes it te, two of them. Similarly, you want to convert meme, ma, into a me. I did meme on purpose instead of using the same letter, the. Let's look at meme. When meme joins, it starts from the top and goes to the bottom and it's by itself, but when it's about to join, it's going to start from the bottom. One more time, it starts on the bottom and the body edge is going to join like that. And that makes it a me. What well, does not make it a me so far, it will make it a me as soon as you put a zubber on it. There we go. Let's, let's get going. We have enough to start writing some simple words. That's the idea. Now that we understand the concept, let's write some simple words, shall we? Very simple. A very babyish word because this is our part one of four and as we go farther into the parts the part second third and fourth part we'll, we'll come across something more interesting ha I left out something very important listen very carefully okay I'm going to start with the example of ikimatra when, let's, let's, let's listen when we're learning the ikimatra ikimatra we learned that we take an alif and we put a zero under it let's back up a little bit when we're doing the iki matra, what we learn is that you take your bay and you want to convert bay into a b into a b, you put a zero underneath it, and that converts your b into a b by putting a line across it. But we also learn that if you want to convert your alif a into a e, in Urdu is the same. In Urdu is the same, but we learn that in Hindi you can't just take your a and try to do this thing. That won't not work. In Hindi they have a unique letter for it and the letter looks like this. Similarly, bari ki matra, you take your bo and you put a choti here next to it and when you combine them it looks like this. You take your bo and you put a line to the right. Again, if you want to convert your o into a e, in Urdu is the same thing. You just leave it alone. Alif and ye, that's it. Alif and choti ye. But in Hindi, you do not take your o, you do not take your o and try to put a line like that. It does not work. That won't work. In Hindi, they have a unique letter for it. And the unique letter looks something like this. Since I have no room, I'm going to put it here. What the unique letter is, is not the point here. The bloody point here is that A was an exception in Hindi. And A is also an exception when we're doing Eki Matra. A was not an exception when we did Oki Matra, if you recall. In Oki Matra, A to behave in the same pattern as all the other letters did, but when we did Iki Matra, Choti E and Badi E, sounds of Choti E and Badi E with the Alif, they had a unique letter in, they have unique letters in Hindi. Do you understand? The same thing is going to apply here. Let's talk about that. We left that out. I left it out by mistake. Let's talk about that before we start to write words because we're going to need it obviously. So let's one more time. Alif plus the Badi E, and Alif is not going to join the Badi E when they appear next, next to each other. It's just going to sit next to Aleph and Ye, it's going to sit like this, this is A. But you do not take your A, uh, you do not take your A uh, and try to do this. This will not work. For this thing, 
in Hindi has a unique letter and the letter looks like this. Voila. I don't like it. I think I think it's supposed to be not go that far out. It's supposed to go out as far as that, like that. That's it. that's a. Now keep listening. It's going to get a little tricky. For Urdu, again, it's the same thing. You put your zubar on it, and that's it. It follows the same pattern. It's, in Urdu, it does not make complicated. But in Hindi, you do not take your uh and try to put two of them on it. It will not work. That's not how it works. A, the long A, has a unique letter in Hindi. It looks just like this. It looks just like this. Let's put it right here. Okay, this is the part that is going to be tricky. So listen very carefully. It took me a while to put my head around this concept because this letter itself is called A. You see, buddy A, buddy A, you put two of them. You put two of them. Right here. You put. You have to put two of them. If it has a zubber, you have to put two of them. But buddy A, because this letter itself is called A, because this letter itself is called A, to convert A sound into a longer A, they only put one more. It does not take two. You got it? So this thing is this right here. Alif, Badiye, it is Zabar. Now we are ready to start. I have no idea how much I have time I have taken in the video, but now we can start. Let's do the words on the top. We're going to just do a few words, very simple words, just to get going. Here's the first one. We'll do choti ek matra hai, badi ek matra diya. So here's our be, plus the badi ye, and then te and alif. Te and alif. So this is a ki matra, this is badi ye ki matra, this is a ki matra. Now what's going to happen is that whenever Whenever choti ye, whenever choti ye, o badi ye appear appear in the middle of the word, middle of a word, they take this shape. They take a shape. They no longer take choti ye like this or badi ye like this. They take this shape. You make a half circle and you put two dots. Whenever choti ye or badi ye appear in the middle of the word, we have come across this many a time. So here's our badi ye. The badi ye makes it burr into a bay. So here's your burr, here's your badi ye. So that makes a bay, and then te and alif makes a ta. Be ta. Be ta. Be ta is in sun. That's how we write it beta. Let's do one on the other side. So the word that I'm going to write on the other side unfortunately has a slight complication and I have to share this complication with you because I thought I was being clever because this starts with the b, the next letter in Urdu alphabet is p, alif, be, pe. So I thought of one word and I wrote it out and here's the word. And you will see the complication in a second. P, P, B, that makes it P, then a seen and Alif. So here's our, here's our Aki Matra, and here's our seen uh, Aki Matra, P, Sa. Let's put them in Hindi first. Oh, let's, let's put them together. P, P, and sa. So this is your sa, and this is the other part. Whenever seeing joins something, it just takes this shape. And that reads P sa. And now the complication that I was talking about. It does have a slight complication, which it did not, which I did not foresee as I was putting together my notes. I thought I was being very clever to have to Oh, we need a zub. Oh, we need a zubaria. This is pesa. It's not pesa. It's not pesa. It's pesa. You see, it's longer. Pesa, not pesa. Beta, not beta. Beta, beta, 
not beta, pesa, not pesa. It's a longer A. Therefore, we need two of them here. It needs a zubber and it, it needs two of them. So I thought I was being very clever to have thought of a, a word to contrast with starting with the P because this one starts with the B. I realized, later on in my notes, I realized, I caught myself, I realized that this is not the right spelling. So listen very carefully. It's okay. We, we have come across this many a times. So this part stays the same. Here's your P, here's your year. Put a zubber on it, that makes it a P. And then seen. And here's the complication part. Every once in a while, every once in a while, I don't know why, but in Urdu, when it ends in an alif, every once in a while, not always, there are, these are exceptions, this is not a rule. When it ends in an alif, like this one, pes, pesa, somehow it takes a h. This is a h. This is a he right here. This he right here. It's a he. So technically, if you to read it phonetically, it says pe sa pe sa. It's not pe sa. It's pe sa. That's just how we spell it. But anyway, we are here to learn eki matra. There's eki matra. Badi eki matra. How do we know it's a badi eki matra? Because it has a zubar. How do we know it takes a badi eki matra? Because it has two of them. That's the one more It's good to be we came across it because they do they do appear in Urdu quite a lot where the last the last letter in the word is Aleph and for some strange reason, some inexplicable reason, we use He. I don't know why. Here's another one. The Dal, this is Dal. And we're gonna convert the Dal the the into a day. So here's our Badie, that makes it day. So that's Eki Matra, and then we're going to take a Noon and Aleph. I don't know why I keep writing one for Aleph. I have no idea. That's a Noon. That letter is called Noon. That's a No, and No and Aleph is going to make a Na. Let's put them together. So Dal, and then Ye, that makes it De, and then Na. Dena. There we go. Dena. Dena is in to give. To give dena. Let's contrast it. Let's contrast it with a with a word with the longer a sound. Dena is it's just dena, as opposed to jesa. Jesa is in like that one. Mujhe us jesa chahiye. Jesa. It's not jesa. Jesa. Dena. Jim. Badiye. It's going to take a zubber that makes the j. And again, Sa we did a little while ago. We did right here. Seen and Alif. Aki Matra and Badi Aki Matra. When Jim when is about to join something, it takes this form. And to which it's going to join. It becomes a J. Now, it would have looked like this. It would have looked like this, J, had that been the story of the story. Had that been the story. Had that been the, had that been the end of the story. This is not the end of the story. This continues here. There is a letter here. They're waiting to join this guy. And because this guy is in line to join this guy, it can no longer take this shape. It's going to take the shape of a semicircle, of a semicircle with the two dot. That's J, and you need Sa. So it has two of them, and then this one is for Alif. So can Alif can come and join. And we need a zubber on it. And that makes it J Sa. We don't say Jesa, Jesa, but we do say Dena. We don't say Dena, Dena. J, two of them, and then Sa, Jesa. As in alike, Us Jesa. Let's do one more. Another one with the Dal, Dal and Ye, De. De. So that's your Eki Matra. And now we need a Kha. Except the Kha we're going to... Let's first write in Hindi. It'll be easier. So here's the De. And now we need a Kha. De, Kha. And then Na. De, Kha. But the Kha that we need, because it has no dot underneath it, if it had a dot underneath it, let's erase this thing so we have the room. If this curve had a dot underneath it, if this curve 
looked like this with the dot underneath it, that would have been this K. That one that comes after Jim, Jim, Che, He, He, not come, comes after it, but it's right there. They come in order, Jim, Jim, Che, He, He. So that's your Jim, that's your Che, that should be here, He, when we talked about the He, there were several different He's in, in Urdu. Right there is a He. So Jim, Che, He, He, they come in order. One more time. Jim, Che, He, and K. We're talking about that K right there. You see it has a dot underneath it. If, if we were talking about that K, it would have had a dot underneath it. The K that we're talking about right now is this one. Kaaf and Do Chashmi He. And it's going to make a Kha sound. And when it combines, it looks like this. Here's your Kaaf and here's your Do Chashmi. And that is the exact equivalent of the Hindi letter Kha. That is the exact equivalent of Hindi letter Kha. This, on the other hand, is an approximation. Because this K does not exist in Hindi. So they, they improvise. They improvise by writing the same Kha as this one by putting a dot underneath it. Right now we need this Kha. Be, Kha, and then Na. Let's put them together. So Dal, and the Ye, De, and then now this Kha, this Kha, is going to join the year right there, just like that. And then now. Dekhna. Dekhna is into C. Let's put another word next to it to make a contrast. But before we make contrast, I want to rewrite this thing freehand so that it comes a little bit nicer. No, that did not work. That did not come out. That would be nice, but you get the idea. So let's come contrast with this this word dekhna, which has a short a sound, with a with a word which has a long a sound. Kaf. This is your kaf. And a badi a, but the kaf has a zabar on it. Don't confuse a kaf with a zabar on it with a gaf. This is a ga. This is kaf with a zabar, so that's going to make it k. But because it has a zabar on it, it's going to take two of them, k, and then sa. Kesa, kesa is in how. Kesa. Just put them together. Here's your kaf. Ye. Two for the seen and then one for the other. And then zabar. Kesa. Kesa, not kesa. Not kesa. Kesa. And dekha. Let's do one more while we're at it. Instead of instead of ending with instead of ending with Aki Matra, we could have finished the story with the Badi Aki Matra. Like this. K, K, and then Zabar. K, and then Sin, and then Choti. KC. KC. KC means how? Aapki Ammi KC hai. KC, which is a feminine form. Aapki Abbu KC hai. Well, that, would, that didn't work out. That was KC. Uh, aapka beta kesa hai. Kesa, kesa and kesi. Because you can't, you, it won't sound proper to say aapke abu kesa hai. That won't work. You need a higher level. Kesi. Kesa, kesi. Of course that would kesi. That means how. But as you can see, it has a longer A sound. Kesa is opposed to dekha or dekhna. Let's do one more pair. One more pair. Oh, this one is very straightforward. Meme, Bariya, that's going to make it me, and then Re and Alif, Ra. Bariya ki matra and A ki matra. Mera, Mera is in mine. Mera. Me, Ra, Mera. Let's write it, let's combine them here. So there's your meme. And then if it were to combine with Ye and end the story, it would have looked like this. But it's not going to look like this because it's continuous. So it's meme, and there's your ye, me, and then re, and alif, mera. 
Mira, mine. There's two one on the other side. But before we do the word on the other side, before we do the word, let's learn a letter, something that we have learned before, but we're going to refresh our mind. The the t the letter t when we combine it with the do chashmi he, when we combine it with do chashmi he, the sound of t becomes t, and t sound we do not have in well we do have sound we do not have a letter in Urdu, we do not have a letter in Urdu for t in Hindi you do which is very straightforward actually, this is one of the easiest ones that I had to learn, you just put a line on the top as you always and you bring it down and make a circle, that's a t. But because we do not have this letter for the sound, just like we don't have a, uh, letters for sounds like B and T and CH and J, we just put Do Chashmi here. That's why Do Chashmi is for. That's why we created Do Chashmi. So here, when we combine them together, it takes this shape. Here's your T and then her continues like this. And that's a T. Now we can write our word. Now we can write our word. B and then Bariye with a zubar, that makes it be longer be badi ki matra be now we need this letter be th na bet na bet na is into sit down but as you can see bet bet na has a longer a sound as opposed to mera mera is very quick short that's it Let's do one more with choti eki matra, but I think I'm going to throw this marker away so I don't keep picking it up because it's, it's very light. It has not much left life left in it. Let's do another one, similar, very similar to mera. Instead of mera, mera means mine. Instead of mera, let's do tera. Tera is in yours. Te, badie, te, and then ra, tera. Te, badie. Ra, tera. Te, ra, tera. Let's compare it with another word, with a badi ki matra. But before we do that, let's pause one more time for a second. When we were learning o ki matra, when we were learning o ki matra, we want, if you want to convert your be, into a bow, we do this, it becomes a bow, and in Urdu we learn that we take your bay and you combine it with a letter called wow, and that turns into a bow. If you put a zavar on it, it turns into a bariyo ki matra, bow and bow. Here's the thing, here in this case, in this instance, in this instance, this letter wow is a matra. That ba is what makes this convert, this get rid of this zir, uh, zabar, so we can talk about bo. This ba is the matra. It, that's what converts the ba into a bo. That's this guy right here. But the word that we're about to write, the word that we're about to write, you will see the letter wa. You will see the letter wa, but in this case, the one that you're about to write, wa appears not as a matra, but simply as a letter v. Right now, the word that we are about to write, in which case the vowel will appear simply as a letter V. V. That's all. It's not a matra. So here we go. So V and Bariye. That makes it V. And we're going to put a zavar on it. That makes it V. Longer, longer A. And then Sa. Seen and Alif. Vesa. Vesa and that's how. Vesa. How do I explain Vesa? That's how something was done. Vesa kia, vesi ki, vesa. Let's put them together. Now this, this is, as I said, this is a letter V. That's all it is. The matra is this guy. Badi ki, badi, badi, badi ki matra. Badi, badi ye. Badi ye is what converts V into a V. So V, ye, we want a badi ye ki matra, so we put a zabra on it, and then sa. One, two, and then one more for sa. Vesa. Vesa kyu ke apne? Why did you do it that way? Oh, Vesa means that way. That's what it means. Vesa. Vesa kare. Is tara mat kare. Vesa kare. Vesa. Do it that way. 
instead of ending with Aki Matra, if we, instead of ending in Aki Matra, we could have ended with we could have ended it with Iki Matra. Same exact thing. We and then seen and chuti you. We see. We see. That's how it looks like. These two, these two for the scene. Oh Jesus, I made a mess of it. But you get the idea, I'm not gonna raise it. We see. Let's do. Let's do, before we finish the video, let's do, we're gonna do four words, one after the other, four words, and they all will have Choti Eki Matra. Na, we're not gonna contrive with Bari Eki Matra. So, four simple words with Choti Eki Matra. Very, very simple words. Here's the first one. Kaf, that's a ka, and then a pe, that makes it cup. Cup. Then a re, 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 that's a re. And then a bari. Kapre, kapre is in close. Let's put them together. Kaf, pe, re. Kapre, that's how we write kapre. Let's do one more. Here's another one. A lift that makes a a uh sound, a. Uh. And then pay up, up, and then noon and bari. So that's your eki matra. Noon, no, and bari. Apne. Let's put them together. A, pa, no, bari. Apne. That's how it looks like. And because that is the last letter of the because it's the last letter of the word, it takes a full form. It takes a full form like this. If it appears in the middle, it takes this form as we as we already know by now. Let's do one more. As I said, we are, we are going to do four of them. We did so, so two so far. Let's do one more. Let's see if we can read this one. Can you? Yeah, I didn't do a very good job. Let me try one more time. There we go. Let's begin, shall we? We're going to dissect it now. This time we're going to do the other way around. We started with the joint one, and now we're going to dissect it. So this very first part that you see there, this, this first part that we see here, the scene by itself looks like this. When it's about to join something, it takes only this form. But sometimes people get lazy, they don't want to take their sweet time to make two of them. They don't want to get take their time to make two of them, they get lazy and just, just do this. So this part that you see there right here, that's a so. Then we have a pu. Then we have a pu with three dots right here. Then we have a noon. And then we have a buddy. Buddy A gives it a key matra. Sapne. Sapne. You know what sapne is? Sapne, sapne is our dreams. Sapna. Singular. Sapne. Plural. Sapne. Dreams. That's how we write sapne. That's how we write sapne in Hindi, in Urdu. Let's do one more. Re. That makes that's a ra. And then ha. It's going to take this ha. As you know in, in Urdu, that should be straight, not. In Urdu, we have four hers. We have four different hay. This is called Badi hay. These two are the hays, Choti hays. This is called Dochashmi hay. Choti hay, this is a Choti hay, this is a Choti hay. Choti hay, depending on the spelling of the word, sometimes it takes this form and sometimes it takes this form. Usually, if it appears at the end, it takes this form. Sometimes it takes this form. They're all hay. So here we need this hay. Re, 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 and then her. And then noon and buddy. Noon 
and body air is going to give us achy matra. What do you suppose it reads? Rehene, rehene. Rehene means to live. Kitna waqt ho gaya aapko yaha rehene ke liye? Yaha rehene mein kitna waqt ho gaya? How long you been living here? Ye kraye ke liye, kraye pe rehene ke liye liya hua hai. I took it out on rent to live in it. That was a stupid example. Let's put them together, shall we? Ro, ho, no, body, rehene. That's how we write it. And that's all. Those were, as I said, I wanted to do four words simply with the choti ki matra one after the other, and we did that. Kapde, apne, pese, rehene. That's all. We'll meet tomorrow. I will do the second part. As I said, I, I, I plan to do this thing in four parts. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.